Hello, Libra, and welcome now to Wednesday. Sunny, sentimental, and cozy today for the judge and jury of the Zodiac. The moon's in your opposite sign. It's almost full, and it is in Aries. That puts emotional focus on your sentiments. That puts it on your relation consciousness, okay? We have a state of awareness that does nothing but constantly monitor the give and take of us in relationships. That's the seventh house in classic astrology. And so when the moon is in this space, you are emotionally sensitive. Your emotions are reflecting how you relate. So it's how you relate to yourself, how you relate to others, how you relate to your dog. This is a sentimental time. This is usually an affectionate time where we want affection, we want to be touched, we want to relate. And so you are sensitive in these regards. Pay attention to that. Great time to invest in any relationship, especially the one to yourself, your mirage. Now, zip into the sun. We are in chapter two, chapter three of Sun and Scorpio. Today, Neptune is ruling the day and Neptune is the synergy energy. This is the energy that helps you log into your higher self, get the answers, meditate. And it's time to really get clear on your soul capital issues and what you're manifesting this, lot, this month, okay? Soul capital leads to our ability to draw in abundance. So that's money, products, materials, also uh, projects, anything we wanna bring in. If we have a million spiritual bucks in the bank and we feel like a million dollars, we can draw in a million dollars. So today the question is, where do you go next? What's in the way? That sort of thing. Taking advantage of Neptune to log in your higher self and get to the bottom of the answers. Or should I invest in this project or that project? Should I put my money here or there? Is there going to be a money problem or not be a money problem? And by the way, when you're asking your guides, they're just telling you what you have manifesting so far. It's not that things are predestined. It's that we're on a certain course. So take advantage of Neptune today. Tomorrow is decision day. And Saturn, I must say Saturn is showing there will be some character and ego breakdowns for the Librans for the next week, okay? Now this is probably just some part of your character that you have not paid attention to. Maybe you thought you already fixed this part of yourself and behold, here's an old, another whole layer you hadn't seen before, all right? And this might mean that there's a breakdown or some sort of interaction with a person that leads to this ego flare up. Now, Venus retrograde still in your sign does give you the benefit of loving yourself. So, if you, for instance, have a breakdown where you just freak out on your teacher or freak out on your husband, and that's your ego going too far, revealing an ego flaw or something that might, needs a, might need a little work, not a good foundation. Well, if you love yourself, is that, if you love yourself, is that the way you want to be? Are you loving yourself when you freak out on your teacher? Are you loving yourself when you freak out on your husband? If you're not loving yourself, then it's probably not motivated by the universe. At least Venus, your home planet in your sign retrograde is helping you with this. So might be a breakdown, but Venus is there to catch you. Also here to catch you is Skip Jennings. Our urban mystic live today with his final edition of the Scorpio Vibration. He is our master of motivation, our minister of motivation as well, and he's going to help you through Scorpio and guide you through this last chapter. So don't miss Skip. This is the last one he has for Scorpio, and he's live everywhere our garden streams. All right, Libra, that wraps up Hump Day. Tomorrow it's decision time with Soul Capital. Until then, live, love, be. Soul.